Welcome to this Yoga for Prolapse and Pelvic Floor Dysfunction. My name is Filippa and we are going to start directly in a forward fold on our mats. So whenever you are ready, let's start. Hugging the elbows with the opposite arm, let your head hang heavy, relaxing the neck, relax the shoulders, stretching the backside of the legs, closing the eyes, maybe you're nodding your head yes and no, just to make sure your neck is really relaxed. And then Letting go of your arms, look down and place the hands shoulder width apart, taking a step back with the feet into a downward facing dog. So you don't need to stretch your legs here if you can and you can still have a nice straight back, that's great. But that's not the purpose of this position, the purpose is to really working through each vertebra and prolonging the spine, really lifting the tailbone up toward the ceiling and at the same time keeping the shoulders away from the ears. So if you need to bend your legs to do that, that's completely fine. And then you can start to stretch and as soon as you feel this is happening, that you round your back when you stretch your legs, don't do that. Come back and really elongate the spine. We really need that for our pelvic floor to have contact with the nervous system and the brain and for all the connections to work really smoothly. So one more deep breath here and on the next exhale just come down to the knees and look at me. We're gonna do a stomach exercise in downward facing dog and I, I just want you to take a look at what it looks like so that you understand my guidance better. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Finding your nicely <laughs> positioned downward facing dog and now we're gonna work with the belly and try to push it out and keep it in. So it's like a pumping motion but I'm not using my breath. This is just kind of like controlling the muscles in the abdominal and it gives a really nice deep massage for the internal organs and also we are putting some pressure here but our pelvic floor is facing the ceiling so don't worry about your prolapse or any pelvic floor dysfunction, it's safe to do this. So we're going to try to pump 25 times and if this is the first time you do this, give it some time and maybe you have to do it again and again to really find this pumping motion. So if you just do 5 pumping motions now, that's completely fine too. Placing the hands shoulder width apart, finding this length in your spine and then start to pump. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and then slowly lowering down to child's pose. So you can keep one hand on the other, letting the forehead rest on top of the hands. I'm really breathing deep down into the bottom of the lungs, activating the rib cage in all directions. Good. So let's look forward and now taking our dolphin pose. So place the elbows on the mat and we want here the wrists, elbows and shoulders in one line if we can. So try not to keep the hands in or the elbows too far out. 
from here lifting the hips up and we might have to bend the knees even more here in this position than in downward facing dog so try to walk the feet a little closer to the elbows if you can and try to really work on this elongated spine same spine as in downward facing dog so from here we're gonna work in a flow so inhale here and when you exhale you lower the knees all the way down inhale to kind of a cow pose and exhale placing the toes back down lifting the knees again inhale here exhale move all the way down inhaling really lifting the heart forward exhaling lifting the hips back up. good a few more times like this so each time you exhale you change the position of the legs and each time you inhale you stay with the feet or the knees down you're in cow you can just come all the way up on the hands and we are going to come back onto our sitting boats and we are going to do some rolling on the spine so if this is not for you if you feel your bulging or heaviness or any pelvic floor dysfunction might get worse please don't do this you can do like mini mini version on the mat if you feel fine you can start to hug your knees and maybe just keep your toes on the mat maybe you can even lift your toes and then slowly with control you start to roll all the way down onto the mat and then come all the way back up trying to find the balance this is really, really good for the spine. So if you don't feel comfortable doing it that way, you could just roll like very softly, still like from a lying down position. But if you feel your body wants to, you can roll all the way, all the way back onto the neck so that you get this massage alongside the spine all the way and do it your style so that it fits your body two more times good so we're gonna come down now to a lying down position if you want to you can come up to the side and lay all the way down with your feet on the floor and knees pointing up we're gonna take half happy baby pose so lift one leg and see if you can take the inside of the foot if you can't just take somewhere close to the foot on the leg so anywhere where you feel really fine you can also grab uh, the back side of the knee if that's what's available to you so we are aiming for kind of a 90 degree angle here in the leg and if you prefer to stretch this leg out you can do that that's completely fine so what we're gonna do now is we are activating the foot so it's like we're standing on the floor we're activating the toes toward the knee and from here we're gonna try to inhale and just stretch the leg like two centimeters and then back on an exhale inhaling stretching the leg not too much and exhaling coming back so i don't know about you but i can really feel my muscles work like deep 
deep muscles working and I'm not doing that big of a movement but try to synchronize the breath and see if you can close your eyes just doing this a few more times inhaling lengthening exhaling coming back and try to come back only to the 90 degree position with the leg good one more time And slowly from here, just lengthen the other leg if you didn't do that. Coming with this foot inside of the other knee, taking a twist. So just place the opposite hand on the bent knee and elongating the other one diagonally behind you. Letting your face come towards the hand behind your head and breathing again into the side of the rib cage deeply into your diaphragm or outside of the foot flexing this foot and then if you want to stretch the other leg that's fine slowly on an inhale stretching the leg not too far at all just a small small movement and noticing what effect it has in your hips so each time you inhale you kind of stretch it a little bit and exhale, coming back. Inhale. Exhale. Making this sound as you breathe. Ujjayi breath. Good. Trying to relax the shoulders, the neck and the forehead. Oh, one last time here, stretch and then exhaling, lowering the opposite leg, lowering the foot and coming into your twist. So you just place the arms as it feels comfortable to you, breathing into the side body. rest alongside the body, freeing the neck, letting the shoulder blades come together a little bit so that the spine is not touching your mat. Letting go of any breathing now, so you inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, really letting go of all the muscular effort, any active breathing and any activity in the mind. So just try to relax here, softening for every exhale. The breathing is just a natural wave in and out through the body. to 
to stretch the arms above the head, really stretching the whole body. If you want to stay in Shavasana and rest for some more time, please do. Otherwise, come into one side, just resting here for a little bit. Or you come all the way up to the seated position. If you can, with your eyes closed, just place your legs in a cross leg position. Let your hands come together in front of the heart, bowing your head toward the hands. Just give yourself thank you for prioritizing your health by breathing, moving consciously and really giving an effort to support your body. Thank you so much. <laughs>